What's up, Internet? We are here with Pokemon Snap. Uh, let me tell you, I've been having kind of a rough week, but uh, then this showed up at my doorstep. Someone had anonymously donated it. Someone very cool anonymously donated it, and it absolutely brought a smile to my face. I have not played this game since I was a kid, and I'm very excited to play this again, so uh, we're going to go snap some Pokemon. Let's start ourselves a game. We have to create our character. Now this character actually showed up, if I recall, in one episode of the uh, anime, if I recall. I think they actually just stripped, called him Snap. Hello there. But this is uh, Professor Oak. He's a guy. Sometimes you deal with him, sometimes you don't. He wants you to shoot Pokemon because he's a good person. <laughs> Uh, Pokemon Snap, for those unfamiliar, is a rail shooter, but unlike most rail shooters that involve guns, this one involves cameras. And this game absolutely needs a sequel because this game is awesome. Uh, I'm not sure how much of this we will actually play because I know it's not a very sh well, it's not a very long game, but I know there's some secrets and stuff, so we're gonna try and get through as much as we can. But we start by going to the beach in our magic little tank thing. C, press A. C, press A. Now, this is one thing that I don't like about this game, is it uh, doesn't really understand the idea of composition. Okay, so controls are inverted. I'm going to have to deal with that at some point. Let's deal with Pikachu. Well, yeah, I got to get uh, the controls de-inverted because inverting controls is not my style, typically. Now, I gotta admit, this would be a lot easier if I was not using the N64 controller. <laughs> but that's just because the N64 control stick is just kind of not good. It's a Blobus! I know that. I don't know if we caught that, but getting special moments are worth a lot of points. Typically, you want to get the monster, like, directly in the center of the shot, which is not proper photo composition. I think there's a scyther in the grass over here. I don't think we can get it, though. Unfortunately, we don't start with all the equipment we need to properly be an awesome Pokemon photographer. But we're gonna make do with what we have. But man, I gotta say, the, the N64 controller, it's been a while since I've used this thing. Now, every level also has secret stuff you can catch. That's yeah, clearly a Chansey. And if you want to unlock the final level, you have to collect all the secret stuff. So we're going to try and catch every secret thing on... Hey, Lapras! Ah, that's too far out there. That is one thing about this game, is it doesn't have a full complement of Pokémon for the time, either. It's worth noting. is something we missed. We missed the secret thing. I'm trying to think of where it was. I thought it was right near the end, but it might be near the start. But anyway, this was sort of like the tutorial attempt. And then Oak looks at uh, your pictures, and then you, you gotta like pick the best ones for him to take a look. Uh, what's the best looking one, I think? I think that one might be the best one. I like that one because it looks like he's dancing. It's kind of annoying you can only take like one like proper shot of every monster though. Alright, uh, pictures of Eevee. Yeah, we'll show him that one. Kangaskhan. 
Those are very good, but we'll take that one because it looks like it's dancing. That might be worth something. Dip duo. That one's closer. That might be worth a few more points. I think that one's closer to center, which is worth more points because Oak doesn't understand composition. Oop, did we forget one? Well, it was the one shot of Lapras we got. <laughs> I'm surprised it counted that. Alright. Now we show these to Professor Oak and see what he thinks. I think that's generous. I don't think it's posing at all, but sure. Meowth is a cool monster. Okay, I will point out, rule of thirds oak means you should give me bonus points if it's not dead center. But alright. Pose is ten points. Ooh. You were close. I didn't have much choice. <laughs> they were all from behind. Eh, I'll take it. Wonderful. Double score! Alright, Eevee. Double score! We're shot for behind, so you get no points. You were close. Lapras. I can't even see it in this picture, but apparently it's there. You were close. Yeah, see, if you get it during, like, it's, uh, special stuff, it gets you even more bonus points. Hey, bonus Wonderful. points. It's dancing! Alright. And because we did so well and completed the tutorial, I think he gives us something. Alright, we could go to the next course. I'm going back to the beach, though, just yes. because I know there's at least a secret thing we still have to catch. It's gotta be somewhere here. Stupid Pidgeys. I love you, but stop... Secret thing is ah there it is. Okay, now we need this. Right here. There, we got it. Because it looks like a Kingler. And because of that, it's worth points. Should at least be worth some points. Now, unfortunately, because uh, we are currently limited to what we can do right now, we have to sit through like the rest of the level. Eventually, we get like a turbo motor that speeds us up a little, but it's still pretty slow. Right, we got some lapper shots. Alright, I have to actually fix the control scheme on this. I hope I can. <laughs> It'd be nice if I could change the sensitivity as well. Feels just a little sluggish for my taste. Oh, that's a lot of Lapras's. And a bunch of Butterfreeze. That's gonna be worth some points. And that's kind of why you want to kind of run through every level multiple times if you want to get a high score. Because there's lots of stuff always going on in pretty much every direction. Those are bad shots. Alright. 
I'm out of film. And that ends the level quickly. I didn't realize I actually ended the level quickly. I thought you just sort of had to sit and wait. If I knew that was the case, I would have wasted a film at that point. But we should at the very least have some points. Alright, so let's take a look. Now there was one specific shot I really wanted to keep. Pidgey. I'm thinking... That one's probably the best. Oh, it's the shot from behind. Really, I don't have the Meowth screeching, huh? That's unfortunate. Alright. Go with that one. It's not center shot, but whatever. Eh, I'll go with that one. Genghis Khan, it doesn't really matter too much. Butterfree, alright. We took a bunch of Butterfree photos, but there's a few that I really like. That one. We're gonna use that one. That one has two, so we'll use that one, I think. That might be worth some points. Ah, I can compare them. That's useful. I like that one. That's the face I need. Alright, Pikachu. Straight on. Let's be worth some points. Eh, it's a little far away, but that might be worth some points. Alright. Professor Oaks. already. You were close. Nope. It kind of seems weird that uh, they make you choose when one is just objectively considered better than the rest. Oh. I don't know how that last shot was better, but okay. is much better. We'll pick this one for sure. That's so bigger. Well done. There's a second Lapras in that shot. Give me a bonus. <laughs> that one's way better. There's just all kinds of objectively better. Ten times better, apparently. Eh. I'll keep the old one, because we all want to make a big high score. You were close. Well, it's still objectively better, so I'll take it. Welcome back. Alright, let's go to the tunnel. next area. Push the button. Push the button. It's always important to try and catch special moments on film, I guess. Kakuna. Ugh. Oh no, Kakuna. I need to catch you. There we go. Alright. Ah, oh, we missed the Zabbit. Also, that's suspicious. Oh well, that can't be a thing. Hitbox on some of these guys are really, really small. 
mean, I know what that is, but it won't let me catch it. I don't think that actually counts either. I think you actually do have to get it directly with your shutter. There we go. Got a Zubat. There we go. Got a Diglett. There's a lot of buttons. Come back, Diglett. Ah, oh, I miss Diglett. I'm running out of film. That's not good. Yeah, there's lots of things we can actually do in this area, but we can't do it just yet. If I recall, this is another one of those secret things. But we can't do anything about it just yet. And that's a thing right there, too. Oh no! Come on, magnet better, Magnemite. I think I might have screwed that up. Oh well. It's always next time, because we don't have proper equipment anyway. Alright. We took a bunch of pictures. Pikachu. Alright, well, fine. Take that for Electro because that's pretty great. Actually, that's the one we want. Silly Electabuzz. Don't have a lot of choice for Kakuna. Don't have a lot of choice for Zubat. Oh, no, we actually did catch Haunter. Which one is the best shot of Haunter? Hmm. That one, I think. Where's Diglett? Uh, no, I don't think Magnemite has different genders. Didn't we catch a Diglett on film? I'm sure we did. Hmm. No, I don't think Magnemite has a gender. Alright, Oak. Yes. What do you think about these ones? Wow. Is worth twice what our old Pikachu was. It's in the process of exploding. Wonderful. Not bad. All right. We got an Electabuzz that's getting shot from the electrode. Close. But a shot from behind, so it doesn't count, I guess. You try catching a Zubat, it's hard. Wonderful. For once. Wonderful. Not bad. Wait. We must return to the lab. Welcome back. Here is a present for you. Here is a present for us. Use the apples. These will actually be really useful. And there's actually a few other secrets we can go back to the first area and use, but we need this tool in order to uh, get past the next level. 
So we actually have to go through this entire level again. Bonk. 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 <laughs> it's fun. Bonk. Uh oh, now we stopped. Ha! Didn't explode that time. And I got a Kakuna. Now, we can make them explode. That's what we actually need to do. We need to use this apple to make another electrode explode at some point down the way. Now we actually need this Pokemon food right here for Pikachu to do a thing. I'm not sure he's actually going to do a thing, but we can hope. No, we need a different tool for that. All right. Magic Carp. Good shot of a Magic Carp too. Right, we got it, Diglett. Okay, now we actually need this tool for a few things. Pikachu! Hurry! Ah! Gotta bonk him with this, I guess. It's not fun to be bonked by apples, but it's sometimes something you have to do. In order to get them angry enough to actually do a thing. Can't do anything there, but what we can do. Get those three guys together. Now we need to do that. Unfortunately, that kind of makes it impossible for us to get a good shot of Magneton, but we get to go off rails a little bit and go to a new area. Because animal abuse, it opens paths for you in this game. And if you think that's mean, our next tool is one that is, like, effectively used to bother monsters, so... Alright. I think, objectively, that's the best Kakuna photo we could ever get. I think that's probably the best Electabuzz photo we could get. None of those are good. That's probably the best Diglett photo we could get. I don't think that's gonna be worth anything, but we could take a look at. Don't need a super bad photo, really. That'll be good for us. That might be a better Haunter photo than the one we have. I think that's all the photos we got. Take these two, Professor Oak. Yes. Let's see what he thinks. I think mine is better. Well done. That is objectively a better shot. That's a crappy Zubat photo. Fair enough, I'll use my good fun. I'll take the good one. Alright, bonus score. Ah, 
The other one was just a little better. Diglett. There we go. Got a really good Electabuzz photo here. He's angry because I whipped an apple at his face. Well done. Alright. That's not a good Magneton photo, but... You were close. Wait. I think we're still doing okay. Welcome back. Now, we gotta go to a new place. Yeah. The volcano! Because that's what you do, you send children to volcanoes. Yes. That's real responsible there, Oak. I think after this we get a new tool that'll be super useful. Rapidash. You need that later. Again, I don't think we can actually get it now. Whoops. I love you, Volpex, but you're kinda in the way there, sweetie. Aw, oh, they're happy, Volpexes. Something around here. I know there's a couple of secrets around here. There's a mag bar. I got a Charmeleon out of it. <laughs> and all it took was harassing a Magmar. Goodbye, Mr. Egg. Oh yeah, Animal Tris. Because of course. It's really interesting how you have to interact with Pokemon sometimes. To get the shots that you need. I think what I have to do, because I know there's something I gotta do with this Charmeleon. I gotta go like that. <laughs> because that's just what you do. Because, you know, just abuse a Charmeleon. That's that's how you get to evolve. Team Rocket was right after all. Alright, there we go. We're out of film! But we should get some good shots. Let's take a look and see what we got. No. Ooh, that's not bad. Rapidash, though. That one's got a second one, but I think that's the better shot. Alright, next we got bulb packs. I think that's the best one. Why is that not a Charmander picture? Actually, I think there was a... Well, that's the Charmander shot. That's a really bad Charmander shot, though. There's a way better Charmeleon shot down the way. I'm thinking that's the one. That's the Magmar photo we need. That looks like the Char Charizard picture. I should know the name of my favorite Pokemon. That's embarrassing. Alright, let's try these. See if we get some points. We got a Rapidash! That's a way better pose than So-So. Looks 
looks very happy. So does its buddy. That's a terrible shot of a Charmander. right there it was right up in my face literally burning my face you can't tell me that's not an okay size I can't zoom any further than that or I'd be down its throat I must return to the lab to a river. Yes. Let's go to the river and see what's all up with this place. I remember really liking this level. Jump again please, or not. Okay, fine. Don't jump for me. I will look at these Bulbasaurs. I'll bonk with apples. Well, that didn't work. Yeah, we don't have the right tool we need right now. We'll get it after completing this level, I believe. Get the magic card? Sure. Oh, I know what I need to do with this guy. Okay, that magic carp came out of the ground. <laughs> that was interesting. Oh. Please hurry, you very dumb monster. He's shaking his butt at us. Well, we did that all kinds of wrong. We should probably just go and try and do this level over to get more of them. Oh well. There's some metapods. Like I said, I don't think we really have the equipment we need to do this level properly. Let's throw these at them, but that's not going to do too much. Silly duck. I'm really, like, at least some of these I kind of remember what we need to do, but I genuinely don't remember what the secret to this level is. Can't do anything with that yet. I know what that is, though. Shelter don't fly. Pretty sure Cloister don't fly, either. Pikachu. What? What? Pikachu, what are you... What? What was that all about, Pikachu? Is that a shiny Pikachu? Is it doing shiny Pikachu-related activities? Alright, well, we're going back to the lab. We got basically nothing here. But we also need something we don't have yet. Let's see what we can do with what we got. Eh, all the shots of Polywog were kind of awful. Alright. That's probably the best shot of Slowpoke we've got. That Slowpoke is just laughing at that magic card. I don't know if that's actually worth bonus points, but we'll take it. Pod, because that's the one shot we have of it. That's a good Psyduck. That's a good Cloyster.
I guess we'll use the Pikachu. Peekaboo, Pikachu. And we'll see what Professor Oak says about any of this. You were close. Oh. Not gonna give points for the slow poke making fun of it in the background. That's not very cool. Slowpoke. Size. 500 points. Wonderful. Shelter. You were close. It was transforming. That should be worth some points. Wonderful. How is that wonderful? That's a terrible shot. You were close. Alright, well. The limited is what we can do with what we have right now, but we'll get there. the uh, pester ball though because when enticing people with apples Wonderful. don't do it harass them that's how you get things that you want he's playing peekaboo he's the peekaboo pikachu he should be worth bonus points but he's not all right well we got some points I think we need some more points before we get our next tool, so let's go back to the beach, yes. see if we can get a few more points over here, because now that we have the apple, we can at least do something with it. Okay, now I know there's something we can do with this Pikachu, so let's... Pikachu really likes apples. But you know what Pikachu likes more than apples? Surfing. Because surfing Pikachu. That was a terrible shot, too. Come on, Snorlax. I just don't have enough of a thing. Bonk. <laughs> oh, but it's fun to bonk things. I'm getting used to uh, inverted controls now. It's weird to me. Now again, it would help if we had the pester ball, which we don't have. actually have collision unless you use the pester ball. So we should see if we can get in our Lapras since we're there. Oh, huh, no Lapras this time. That's interesting. Where are you even going, Doduo? Bonk. Oh, we should be able to get a decent picture of some stuff now. They're friends. Bonk. <laughs> oh, that was a terrible shot, but... There we go. I at least got a decent shot of uh, Kangaskhan. Bonk. I'm noticing a lack of eggs in that nest. Did Meowth already eat them? Ah, oh, couldn't get ourselves a magic card. Unfortunate. But still. Hopefully these will help our score a little bit. Okay, so let's see. What's the best Pidgey shot? Probably that one. I don't think that's center frame, but that's dashing. 
from the side, but that might still be worth something. Grab that Butterfree photo. The big Glorbus that is Chansey. And let's see, we want... That. I think is the one we want. And a silly shot of Mio. Let's see what he thinks. It is in fact a Pidgey. That's worth more points. Ah, not as good. Alright, what about the next one? Pose is way better. Oh, I'm surprised I actually got the two times on that one. Alright, cool. Wow. It is a surfing Pikachu. Well done. Hey, bonus points. Although I think the other Pikachu shot was better. I don't think this is gonna beat my other butterfly shot. That's a chancy. I got a nice picture of its butt. Wonderful. How is that a good shot? Well it's a good pose, though. It's a silly meowth. How is that not a better pose? I think we've got enough for our next tool. Welcome back. The Pester Ball, because we need to harass Pokemon. Okay. So let's go to the river and yes. use our new Pester Ball. Well, that didn't work too well. Still, we can do this. Because where the Bulbasaur won't react to things that aren't pester balls, it will react to pester balls. Like a silly Bulbasaur. We actually need this for a few other things down the road. Uh, not gonna get much of a shot there. Oh, I know where the special thing here is in this level. It's right here. I'm pretty sure. File plume. Look, you stupid, dumb. that glowy magic card, but there was one. So we can do this. Alright. I know we need to use the pester ball for something. I think you have to smack the Psyduck with it. Oh, right, we can do this now. Is Porygon. And now, suddenly, game changer. You're by Pikachu. I won't get any photos of you this time. I'm about to go off a cliff because that's just how things are.
Actually, I think I really liked this level as well. This was a really cool level, from what I remember. But I really do like how you have to use your tools to find new paths instead of just getting new levels. That's a Bulbasaur shot, anyway. I think that's a good shot. That might be a good shot, I'm not sure. There's a sparkly magic carp in there, at least. Oh, I look so happy! Which one do I think is the best? I think that's the best one. Yes. Alright, let's see what Oak says about our shots. Wonderful. Alright, we got some bonuses. Let's see what we got. Oh, the pose is definitely a lot better. Will that be enough? Well done. I'm surprised it doesn't get a bonus for having a shelter in the shot as well. It's making fun of a silly magic carp. It's worth way more points. Well done. All right, that's significantly better. Need the right tool for the job, I guess. Wonderful. That's not a bad shot. Wait. I must return to the lab to discuss the fact that I fell down a cliff and am somehow back here still. Right, so let's go check out yeah. the cave. Yes. Because I think this is a really cool level. And I remember what the secret here is. Wow, I still cannot, for the life of me, get a shot of a decent Subat. Oh, that one just ain't going. That's not a Bulbasaur. It's a Ditto. That looks like a Bulbasaur. Ah, come on, Grimer. That was a good shot. Just harass Grimers. It's okay. That's a way better ditto shot. Not really sure where the Bulbasaur they really transformed from is, but, you know. Ah, Coughing in Jigglypuff. And a Weeping Bell. I think there's a secret around here somewhere. Oh, he looks so sad. And coughing looks so happy. I feel like I needed to knock him in the water, turn him into a victory bell. That's mysterious. Oh, those are uh, gems on the side of the wall. You know, when I first saw those, I thought those were just stars. Just in the middle of a cave for no reason. I could never understand that. But poor Weeping Bell. That I couldn't get to turn to a Victory Bell because I'm inept. It's a flying Pikachu! Okay, look, Zubat, if you want me to take a picture of Pikachu, that's fine. Oh, it's the racist Pokemon. Oh, you know what you gotta do, I think, is you have to get uh, Pikachu to harass them, and then it uh, hatches the egg, which creates Articuno. Articuno. 
Again, I'm playing entirely off memory here, so I'm, I'm kind of a little bit rusty, but still. I feel like there's supposed to be something there. I don't know. That's suspicious. But we got to the end of the level. We took a lot of pictures, as any good photographer would. No, no, no. Um, you know, actually that might be not a bad shot. It's just a matter of finding the right one. That one might be it. They're not good pictures of Jinx, but they are pictures of Jinx. That weeping bell looks like it's dying. <laughs> I'll take that one. Coughing! Actually, that might be a better shot because it's scaring the Jigglypuff. That poor Jigglypuff looks terrified. But as an important Pokemon, nature photographer, it's important that we get all the natural photos, such as a terrified Jigglypuff. I got a Bulbasaur, except I don't think that's actually a Bulbasaur. I might be wrong about that. What do you think, Professor? Yes. not an actual Bulbasaur. Alright, decent points. The Ditto is de-transforming. That should be worth some bonus points. Wonderful. Really? I'm not getting points for that, huh? Fine. Wonderful. I'm surprised I didn't get bonus points for that. It's a coughing, terrorizing. A Jigglypuff. I'm gonna give you extra points for that. Very small weakened bell. Wonderful. That's okay. Ah. I know we can get a better shot of it though. Two more pictures of Pokemon that we are lacking. Okay. Hmm. Where can we go that we haven't really explored too much? We go to the tunnel. I'm not sure if there's too much there we need with the pester balls. The volcano might have something. Hmm. I don't think we. Well, we could go to the beach, certainly. I know uh, we still need a flipping Snorlax, and I think there's a Scyther here as well. It's really hard to get all three Pidgey in one shot. Whoopsie, sorry Pikachu. Bear Pikachu shot. Wow, I missed that entirely. There's a Lapras shot we missed. There we go. Ah, there we go. Bonk. It's just fun to bonk pon monsters with apples and pester balls. Wow, the flexing. He's giving me so many shots. That's so very kind of him. There's Scyther. We 
You're running low on Pokemon pictures to snap with. Lapras. Wow, Scyther's flying out really far away. What are you guys doing? Oh, you're doing a thing! I wasn't even paying attention. Wow, I am inept. I'm the worst Pokemon photographer. Well, we got our two new monsters to take photos of. So at least we'll unlock the new course. Which is the penultimate course. There's one course after, that's the secret course, if I recall. But we gotta find the secrets in all the levels to get the secret course. I'm gonna pick that one. Eh. No, I, I want the other one. That's the one I want. Yes. Eh, I like the Serpent Pikachu we have better than the Pikachu Concert. Take that Lapras shot. Okay, we need a good Scyther shot, and we are not getting one. That's not a good shot, but the pose might make up for it. Well, we absolutely need this shot in our lives. I think that's about all of them. Let's see what Oak says. Yes. We got a Pidgey. I think the previous one's already better, but still. Yeah, the other one's significantly better. We'll keep the old one, because we need our score. points less. I'll take my old go duo. Thank you. Wow. Uh, better size. Eh, the, the pose is the same, which is surprising, because one's a shot from the side, the other's while well, it's flipping, but okay. Well done. Yeah, a few more points. Why not? It's not quite as good. It's scratching itself and yawning. It's like the only pose it knows. I'm pretty sure the pose I've got's better. Well done. Really goofy flexing. It's so very poor. But that's a really great pose. So we're going to give you some decent points for it. You were Ooh, close. Well done. Still got better points for Lapras. Wait. Welcome back. All right. Yeah. All right. This is a neat yes. level too. This game just has a lot of neat levels. I don't think I like the fire level particularly, but the rest of the levels are all really fun. Look. That's the thing we can take photos of. Uh oh. Silly Squirtle. I did not expect to see this guy here. <laughs> Maybe that'll be worth points. Who knows? Graveler. Crap. Whoops. I know you have to do something with him. I 
give you food while you come down? No? Fine. Oh. That's a star you. Whoa. Quit it. You're making me dizzy, star you. Bonk. You've been pestered. That's not how you take a photo of a star you. Or that, honestly. I know you can turn him into a star me, I just can't remember how. I remember there was something about that you had to do. I could not remember what, though. Stupid manky. Stop taunting everyone. Hmm. Well, that could have gone better, but... I want to press the button. No, I don't want to go this way. I don't remember what to do with this one. I think you have to push the manky off the cliff or something. Oh well. Back to the lab. See what we got for shots. Alright, we can get better Geodude shot. That's not a bad one. Really, that's that's what we got. Those are terrible shots. Okay. Well that might be the best shot we have, which isn't saying too much. I think that's the best sand true shot. Can't even tell what's going on with that one. Tricky about that one. I think that's the best Dragonite shot we got. Alright, let's see what Oak says. Yes. Shot. You were close. Yeah, there wasn't much Wonderful. else I could do with it, I don't think. Wonderful. Not bad. It is so far away. Wonderful. I'll take that. That's more points than I would give it. We got a Dragonite that thinks it's Superman. Wonderful. A suspicious switch. And that's our clue to continue. So we gotta hit that switch. Yes. Now I know at some point we get a motor that speeds us up, which we're going to need to take advantage of at some point. Because it's a little bit tricky and time consuming to get through these levels without speeding up in some way. Ah, I'm just jumping about like a silly. Mankey, have apple. Where are you going? 
You silly. What is the hitbox on this guy? Ah, I missed that all kinds of bad. There we go. Ah, that make you not want to get a pester ball thrown at it. Now, if I recall, Catch a picture of a star, you. Aside from the first one that they just kind of give you. Okay, now we know that there's a Dratini around. Crap. Oh, come on. I don't know if I actually caught any of those. Please tell me I did Dratini. Oh, I see what I have to do. I have to Koopa Shell the Squirtle at that stupid thing, don't I? I mean, I can do that, sure, but... Unless the Koopa's gonna hit the switch for us. That's fine. Yeah, that's what I have to do. I have to actually hit the Squirtle at the Mankey to knock it onto the switch. So basically, you gotta trick shot the opening. Alright, well... I'm not gonna say that's good design. If it's entirely based on the angle of attack, that's a little awkward, because you can't see the button from one side of the cliff. Still, you know. I mean, if that's my one problem with this game, this game is uh, doing pretty well for itself. And it is a great game, so, you know. Alright, we took a bunch of pictures. Let's take a look. The only Squirtle photo I got. Alright, fine. That one looks like it's flexing. That might be worth some points. That one. can't tell what the hell I'm looking at. I like that blue. I'm not sure if that's worth extra points, because it's, uh... It's just that one. Alright, let's go. Let's see what the professor says. It's worth less points. Pose is better. Well done. Yeah, I'll take a few more points, sure. Yeah, it's you worth a few more points, well I guess. But I, I could get a better one for sure. Yeah, better pose. Well done. That's gonna be what gets me the points. Score, I'll take it. Wonderful. That's a bad shot. Really? That other one was doing like a corkscrew in midair. I think that was worth more points for a pose, but well sure. Whatever gets me more points. I'm kinda surprised that's worth less points, seeing as it's glowing. Well done. Still a couple more points, sure. Wonderful. All right. We have 
have to hit that switch. So let's do it. Yes. Hopefully we do it this time. Goldine. Crap. Whoops. <laughs> yeah, no, that was actually kind of semi intentional. I remember you had to do something with a magic carp in this level. I don't know if that was a good shot of Sandshrew. Let's see if we can get a better one. Ah, the problem is I have to know where they come from. a good one. Where's the hitboxes on these guys? I gotta do it close. There. At least we got a sort of close shot of a manky. Dark sound effect. That's what we had to do with that magic carp. I thought you had to knock a magic carp into the uh, whirlpool at the bottom where the dragonite was. I guess not. does for us. Stupid monkey. Thank you. We Sploosh. You got a change of clothes. This is his vacation house. The secret Pokemon doodles. signs are at least most of them so we should be able to find them all right so let's see no no we're gonna have to get that goldine yeah. that eh, actually I think that one's probably worth more points Out of oh, a Squirtle, sure. It's like to be worth more points, but I'll show it anyway. Is that really our one Geodude photo? That's not good. Uh, eh, eh, eh. I'm ambivalent to which one's better. I guess we'll go with that one. Uh, let's see. We need a good Garrett. 
still shot. <laughs> that one's funny. I think our best shot is that one. And that one's just submerging, so it picks that one. Yeah, I think that's good. Let's show Professor Oak. Yes. It's a crappy magic card. Do a better job next time. Alright, Squirtle. Again, not a good one. No, I wasn't close. That was the problem. I need to get closer. I don't get bonus points for the Geodude in that shot. You are close. Wonderful. All right, Dragonite. Well done. I think the other one's honestly better looking, but sure, whatever. Well done. All right. That's some bonus points right there. Wait. Now we're at least missing Goldeen. I think we're missing Starmie as well. Although I can't remember how to get that one. Wouldn't it be great if we actually put an engine on your tank? Yes, yes, it would be good. What was with that? Hold on. This. What was with that eye look? <laughs> that looked vaguely sinister. <laughs> I'm mildly terrified of you, Professor Oak. Okay, so now we gotta go look for Pokemon signs. I thought we could do that from the start, but I guess not. That's okay. Okay, so we go R to super speed. So right now we just wanna focus on the Pokemon signs. First one here is a rock that looks vaguely like a Kingler. Boop. Done. You know, I kind of wonder if it'd be faster just to go clean through all of your film. Oh, we should actually try and get a better Scyther shot, though. It's also a stock sound effect. I know because it was in Doom. What the heck is in there? Oh, another Scyther. That's a good chancy picture. And not just a picture of its butt. You've been pestered, Kangaskhan. Alright, I think we got everything we needed. Still don't have that gold dean, and I'm not sure how to get a better shot at Goldeen. I mean, Magikarp just seems to randomly show up. But still. Alright. So now we have to show off pictures of signs. There. I think that's the shot we need of Scyther. That's the shot of Pikachu because it's about to flip onto its face. You know, back in the day, you could take your Pokemon Snap cartridge to a Blockbuster, and they'd have like a little thing you could plug your cartridge in and print stickers of all your photos out. That's a pretty cool idea. Yes. Never had Blockbuster here back in the day, though. And it's bigger. Same pose. Well done. Better shot. Pikachu on a stump. 
is worth more than surfing Pikachu. I could get a lot more points from that. It's not just a picture of its butt this time. Alright, we are getting better shots. This is a Pokemon sign. Alright, it's a rock that looks like King West. Welcome back. Hello, Professor. Poke flute. It's useful for getting special poses out of things, but right yes. now, we are mostly just looking for Pokemon signs. Poke flute, you're not doing anything. Also, you can't hold it down forever, apparently. Super speed! Whew. Consider yourself pestered. Okay. Uh, Pikachu. I do wish I could, like, manually stop this little tank, my Bob. That would be kind of nice. What am I supposed to do with that again? I forget. Oh, you need the Pokemon flute. Okay, I got this. We gotta do this over. That's okay. Uh, we actually need the Poker Flute to get ourselves the next sign. Pikachu! Okay, I know what I need to do, I just gotta get Pikachu to do it. Okay, I need a Doug Trio to get it properly. Okay, I think I know what I need to do. Let's get ourselves a good shot of Magneton this time, if I may, because that would just be nice. There we go. At least we got a decent shot of Magneton this time. Okay, so we gotta get a Doug Trio, and I think that's either by pestering the Diglets or Poke Flute. And I think that's the best Kakuna that we took of one. No, 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 much. That's gonna be worse, huh? Nice. That's way better. Okay. Welcome back. So Yes. Gotta go here. Like that's kind of the problem with it being on rails, like even with the speed up, you still have to kind of go through all this nonsense if you missed something and want to try again. Take a photo of Electabuzz for posterity. Please hurry! Huh. 
speed up for justice. Now we gotta hit the Zubat. There we go. Okay. And now I know what I have to do for this. Whoopsie. Sorry, Pikachu. Uh oh. Uh oh. Uh oh. Uh oh. Uh oh. Uh oh. That should be good. That's what we need to do. All right, that'll do nicely. for this guy properly. Crap. Oh well. We got the new sign. I thought we had to get uh, Pikachu to do a thing, and I think that would work, but if you get uh, Zapdos, it automatically powers on all the generators, which saves some grief, I guess. I can appreciate that. Really, I cannot just get a picture of Magnemite. Interesting. Alright, well we got two of the signs. Still got a few to go though. Like that. I'm not sure that'll count for being center shot. Go with that one. We gotta go for that one, Pikachu. I'm thinking we either want that one or that one. So, and we got a magic carp shot, because why not? What's a good Diglett shot? I think that's probably the best one. Alright, let's see what Oak says. Shall we? Gotta like the buzz. We already have one though. Well done. Kinda surprised, the other one was trying to shock. But okay. That one's not gonna be worth quite as much. It's a Pikachu that's really mad. Oh. That's Pika. not worth quite as much. Wonderful. Oh, my magic carp, it's not gonna be worth as much, alas. Oh, our big one's gonna be worth a little more. Nice. Oh. Plus wonderful. we got a Pokemon sign. the sign of the volcano. Yes. I remember what this one is. I just gotta remember where it is. I think it's right here at the start, actually. Yep, there it is. The smoke that ends up looking vaguely like coughing. Oh, it's clapping! I love Vulpex.
Uh, friendly Charmander. Hello, Charmander. You know, if you breathed fire on this, it would probably make a Moltres even better and faster. No? Okay. Did that Magmar just attack the other one? <laughs> I was hoping he would fall into a lava and turn into a Charmander, or Charmeleon. But that didn't work out so well for us. going on with this level? I think this is like the one little Pikachu doesn't show up in. I am bad at taking shots of Charmeleon. Bonk. an apple. Huh, they actually do animate him throwing things. I didn't realize that. Interesting. Alright, we took some pictures. Hooray for us. That Rapidash. That bizarre coughing looking smoke. Oh, she looks happy. Angry Charmander. Sure that. I really didn't have a Charmeleon before? That's peculiar. Yeah, that's the shot we need. Let's show Professor Oak what we've got. Dash. It's bigger. It's got a better pose. It's got more technique. And it's got more well rapid dashes in the background. It's the best shot ever, even though it's completely off center. It's less awesome, but it's got the same pose. But it's not as good. Well I'm surprised I didn't get a bonus for that uh, breathing fire. That's a worse shot. I think that's a better shot altogether. I think I have to disagree with you, Oak. At the cost of 60 points, I'm going with what I consider to be the better shot. Sorry. Oh, wonderful. All right, so we got another sign. Welcome back. All right. So now we gotta go find the sign in the river. I know where that is. I'm not sure how to get it though. such trouble catching up polywog on film. <laughs> Excuse me. Alright, so it's right around here. I guess it's supposed to look like a Q-bone. Alright. I 
don't know if it's trying to dance or what, but it's doing something. I wonder. Unfortunately, I'm moving too fast for it to work. Crap. There's a cloister, but we already have one of them. Oh well, it hurts to take more photos, I guess. Shiny Pikachu being silly, like it usually is. Alright, let's take a look and see how good we are doing at snapping Pokemon. Alright. It was jumping that time. I picked that one. That's the Bulbasaur shot we need. That looks kind of goofy. I like that. There's the Cubone shaped rock thingy. Still poke. I do like that Porygon shot. Not quite centered, but I think it'll be good enough. That's the one we're looking for, right there. Alright. So Professor Oak says. Well, Prof. Well done. Significantly better, because you caught it while it was jumping. Well done. And it's a rare Pokemon. You should get bonus points. I don't know how that's a better shot, because it's not. I caught a shelter suspended in the air while I was fishing. How is that a better shot? No, that other one was better. I will concede that one. Yeah, the last one was better. The shiny Pikachu. Really, that's worth less than catching one on a stump? Okay, that's just arbitrary and dumb. Oh, wonderful. Okay, there's your Pokemon sign. Alright. Still need two more signs. I already know where the one in the cave is, and I know where the one in the valley is. So let's just see if we can work on our score a little bit. You're not a Bulbasaur, ditto. Stop trying to be. Jigglypuff. Wow, I cannot, for the life of me, get that weeping bell. 
That's a sign, but you'll never be able to tell that's a sign. He's a little less than thrilled that we did that to him. But he evolved. I can't hit flying Pikachu like that. Terrible shot of Articuno, but I think there's supposed to be something there, but I don't know what it is. I guess it doesn't matter much. All right, so we got our sign, plus we got a couple new monsters. Not too shabby. So let's get our photos evaluated. First of all, too bad. Okay, that is two Pokemon in one shot. Well, I actually didn't have this to stream. I actually just got this from a very generous person who sent it to me. And I'm playing this because I had a really crap day and I'm just, you know, to have this sent to me just really brightened my day up. So I figured, you know, I gotta play through this. And then I'm gonna review it for my channel. And those random diamonds somehow turned into Mewtwo. Even though you'd never see it. That's not a thing. That's not a thing. Now what's the victory bell shot we want? I'm thinking that one. It's a little obscured, but it's big and it's a nice post. That's totally a Pikachu shot. Actually, I think we get a better change shot. There we go. That's from the back, but that still might be a decent shot. Let's find out. Yeah, I, this totally made my day. I used to play this all the time when I was a kid. So to have another copy, it's it's great. And I'm excited to do a review for my show. It's been a long time. I'm surprised genuinely how much I remember about this game. Oh, it's not quite as good though. Although I think it is a better shot. That's a Ditto that's also a Bulbasaur. That is totally worth more points. Uh, screw it, I'll take the cutting points. I want the Ditto Bulbasaur. I think the last coughing shot was way better. Yeah. Had a better terrified Jigglypuff in it too. Well, the weird thing about this game is it doesn't have proper composition. They expect you to take like a shot and every shot your subject's gonna be dead center of frame. That's not how you should take photos. Well Coming off of, you know, taking photography in college, it's a little weird. Wonderful. I got a Dancy Jinx. It's not gonna be worth too many points. No, I think it's a better shot. You were close. Oh. Yeah, but I took it from behind, so it's not worth any shots. Points. I think there's like 60 different monsters in this game. It's kind of doesn't have the full complement, which is like one of the few things about this game I don't like. They really should go by the rule of thirds. Force perspective, leading lines, damn it. Yes. <laughs> I took photography in college. I should be able to, you know, take what I know and actually use it at some point. Okay, I know there's a Goldeen around here, I just have to 
Crap. 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 Okay, there. Now, there was a Goldeen around here. I don't care about Magic Carp. There was a Goldeen. I need it. I don't think we're getting the Goldeen. That might be a great shot of Sand Slash. Doing a corkscrew in midair. Oh man, I, I think uh, the next game I'm gonna have to stream for review is uh, Spike McFang. <laughs> that just came through my door this week too. I'm so excited to play that finally. And of course, with this game, there was also a uh, there was a, a, a Yu-Gi-Oh game as well, and I'm not super familiar with actually playing Yu-Gi-Oh, so that'll be an interesting thing to play. I'm not sure if that'd be interesting to stream though, because you know I have to actually learn how to play it. But man, I've got a bunch of games I gotta stream for review, just because I'm so excited to play them. All right. So, we've got ourselves. I don't care about the Mankey. I do care about that slash, Sand Slash, though. No. That's what I needed. Sand Slash. I guess we'll take these, even though they're not very good shots. Let's see what Oak says. Your Mankey is crap. I don't know how the... My other Mankey wasn't a better shot for size. Alright, next we have Magikarp. That uh, was way better. Yeah, but it's got a better pose. No? Okay, fine. Yeah, some of the scoring in this is entirely arbitrary. But we got all the signs now. I got all the signs. It's the sky. <laughs> That's a sound bite. It's the sky. You never bother to, you know, put a hot air balloon up into a cloud that is rainbow colored? That seems peculiar to me. Alright, so this is the final level. It's kind of a secret level. It has one monster in it. And it is a pain in the ass to catch from what I can remember, but we'll try. Let's see if we can get it. Ugh, frickin' Mew. And the only way to win is to abuse Mew a bunch. But this is the closest thing to a boss fight this game has. You can't take a picture of it with its shield, it doesn't actually develop properly. Problem is, its shield is like a two-dimensional object. Man, this, this, playing this again is an absolute treat. I am so thankful someone sent this to me. Bonk. All right, now I think it has one more layer of shield. All right, I got Mew. There. Technically, we beat the game, but I think we can get a better shot of Mew. <laughs> That's what this entire thing is, it's just fighting Mew. Oh, fighting, trying to catch it on film. Okay, that should be it. So let's try... Where is it spawning from? It spawns right beside you, doesn't it? Mew is awesome. And the great thing about it is, uh... 
it was added at the 11th hour without most of the people who made the game realizing it. <laughs> oh, I see how it is, Mew. You're just gonna... Fine. What? Okay, so you're just... You're gonna teleport away. Fine. Bonk. Problem is, he spawns like right next to you. He was the only Pokemon card I actually have. I'm kind of annoyed about that. I want to get uh, a holographic Charizard. This is my favorite. Sorry, Mew. There we go. We actually got a good shot of it. Nice. We took more than one photo. Problem is, we need a good one now. We need a good photo. Of which none of these really are, but I guess that would be it. Alright. Yes. Let's see what he says. Wow. It is the rare Pokemon Mew. It should be worth all the points ever. Of all time. Shut up, Oak. You were close. <laughs> oh, come on. Wait. Return to the lab. Welcome back. You made it. Well, it didn't. It lived in the rainbowy clouds that are entirely obvious that something special should be there because clouds typically aren't rainbow. No problem. Yeah, you mind telling that to my photography professors? That would just be super. Alright, see you, professor. See you. Anyway, that was Pokemon Snap in one sitting. I hope you enjoyed, and if you did, follow the stream to know when we go live, because we stream every day, usually Animal Crossing. We do weekly Pokemon stuff, which I have to get back on top of as well as other stuff when I have the time, and I think I'm gonna have to do something about Yu-Gi-Oh! as well as Spike McFang sometime soon, because I have to play Spike McFang! That game is awesome. Uh, but you might also want to check out and subscribe to my YouTube channel to see everything else I do, which is a lot of stuff, especially weird, obscure games, mostly games people have never heard of. Trust me, there's something there for you, I'm sure. And if you really want to make my day, check out the show's PayPal or Patreon. Support the show any way you can so that I can continue to do what I do to the best of my ability. Which, in this case, is taking kick-ass Pokemon photos thanks to a very special person sending me a copy and brightening up my day because I really need that. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed, and I will see you next time. Peace out, Internet.